Hey, just a few quick updates. Um, I want to share with you one thing from Enigma Seeker. He wants to get a campaign to get a leader released on Netflix started. And um, while I have my doubts that Disney would let a leader play on a competitor, you, if you want, you can still give it a shot. So um, what you need to do is where you can um, contact via email, phone, and Twitter, of course, you can add them. Or you can also just go, if you have a Netflix account, go under the Help Center. Um, you can just type in to the, whatever your question is or whatever, just type uh, request, right? Just hit enter, request, enter. And it will um, give you the option to request TV shows and movies. Then you go to, um, well, the box is here and you can add in a leader battle angel. That's what I'll do right now. For just to show you for an example, and then here, um, I guess a, if you want to suggest a leader three times, you could probably do that too, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean that's probably good enough. Just leader, maybe in that one space, and then go down here and hit submit. Now, um, I think it's possible. It may work, may not. It's a long shot, but hey, go ahead and try it. Um, who knows? You may get a miracle. Okay, so second thing, Disney has named Susan Arnold as board chair. She replaces Bob Iger. Um, as I said a while back, Disney is in flux right now. There are, um, it's not really stable, so. Now is probably not the time we should expect any sequels for a leader to be greenlit or any real talks to to really take place because what's the point of having talks about an Alita sequel with somebody who um let's say with Bob Iger who and Alan Horn who are not going to be there long term, right? So like I said, we have to wait for things to settle down, um, for the waves to 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 even out right and and then when people get in their long term and there aren't so many moving pieces uh, then I think um, sequel talks can really happen and hopefully that time is coming soon um, because Cameron is probably he probably has his terms and he's not going to accept anything else and knowing him, he's probably not trying to get one sequel greenlit. He's probably trying to get um, numerous sequels greenlit. So um, he is he he has a a tough ask, and hopefully the 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 person who replaces Iger would be somebody who is more more. Um, uh, more keen on the idea of an Alita sequel than Iger or Alan Horn might have been. So we'll see, though. Um, <clears throat> we we shall see. Um, from what I understand, or from what I have heard, uh, through what's his name, uh, Cameron Pasha on Midnight's Edge. Even though I'm not. The biggest fan of that some of their stuff is good but you know whatever anyway um, from what I hear Bob not Bob, not Bob Iger Bob Chapik is a protege of hers or a uh, or at least he he was chosen by her probably likely that might if that's if he is to believe to be believed so anyway um, and Chapik is a guy who's, who tends to think about the bottom line, not about ideology or about um, anything other than just what makes money. And so maybe this person is of the same mind, and they may be more pragmatic or more uh, practical, I should say. Um, and, well, we, you know, we'll find out. But um, hopefully the changes at Disney are... are almost over you know hopefully the permanent pieces are getting into place and in real talks about an elite sequel can begin
So um, that is pretty much all I have to share with you. Thank you all for watching.